like you to design for us. I got confused because I'm only one person and I could not paint on each and every mat. Hi everyone, it's Carla. Welcome back to my channel. So today, uh, I just want to tell you guys that I released a floral design collection with MassQ. So MassQ is one of the local uh, mass uh, uh, makers here in the Philippines. An inside like story time thing of how this collaboration came about. So it might, I don't know, it might be interesting to some uh, viewers or maybe some artists, especially young artists, on how to get into collabs with um, such such a brand. It should be a good practice also for me to tell the story via my YouTube channel. So let's see how it goes. recommended um, their mask to to, uh, to me and we were having our weekly workout and she said she bought masks from this website I really like the, the designs of this mask so I bought one mask from them and it is this one see how nice this is what drew me in the flowers of course and the embroidery that they did this design and it's washable so I've washed this already several times and it still looks really pretty and nice. And when I posted this in my Instagram, I tagged uh, MassQ to show them that I really like this mask. And they replied with, with like, oh, thank you for, for buying, blah, blah, blah. And I was like half jokingly tell them, telling them that I really like their mask. And I hope that I can design a mask or a floral design for them. They said, yeah, that would be nice. And then I didn't hear from them anymore. After a month or so, around, um, it, it was September, um, they messaged me to say that we'd like you to design for us. Design, but we wanted it to look uh, hand-painted. So in my thought, I was like, okay, they want me to hand-paint, but that would be very difficult to like mass produce. I, uh, I guess I'll turn my artworks into a digital file and they will like print it out. And then somewhere along our conversation, I got confused because they will be sending me mask. And I thought, why will they send me mask if I will not be like painting on them anyway? So we clarified it and they really wanted to paint on the mask that they are going to send. So I said, yes, I can paint on the mask since I have like acrylic, fabric paint. Their idea, they just want to see how it looks um, on the mask when I paint on them, but they are going to mass produce it via silk screen. And then they sent me the mask, the blank mask. So I got the mask, they were blank. We chose like three um, colors. I, I sent out like mood boards and pegs that I think will um, be best suitable for each color of the mask that they sent me. So I, I really like to um, put my idea first um, out to the client before I actually do it because I'm hand painting a mask. If I hand paint something and they didn't like it, um, sayang naman yung mask. So, I wanted to be sure first that we are on the same page that um, what I will, what I plan to do will be what they expect me to do. It was quite a challenge. So what I did, because the mask is curved, so this is one of the designs, it's curved. And when I paint here, I'm afraid that it's, uh, I won't be able to paint very, very nicely because of the fold. So what I did, I cut out like a cardboard and <laughs> insert it inside here. So that when I paint, it's at least in a, a lot um, harder surface. So also, actually before I painted, backtrack, before I painted on the mask, I actually did first the, the design on my iPad. So I, because I didn't want to make a mistake. Um, when you paint on the mask, it was that was it. You, you can't afford to make a mistake because I only have one of each color. This is the design that I created. 
created using Procreate and that's what came out of the mask. Awesome. It took around like an, um, another month for Mask U to test out the, the silk screen that they were going to use. Um, they had to adjust some of the colors and it took a lot of process of trial and error in order for us to come up with the final final product. I hope uh, this story time has been very interesting to you um, for young artists out there. Um, you can actually approach a brand if you want to collab with them, show them your works, uh, and who knows, maybe one day they will approach you and tell you, let's do it. Um, I'll be showing you the clips now, and thank you again for listening to this short story of how I designed masks for Mask You. Thank you, and see you again next time. Bye!